duckies, Andy Lippy here. OBS 29 has arrived. I recently did a video on all the features that were put in this version when the beta first came out. So I'm not going to talk too much about the actual features, as you can see that video up here and in the description. However, I know since you all got a little bit worried about OBS 28, I thought it would be a great idea if I showed you the safest way to update OBS. How you can try it before you take the plunge and upgrade, and I'll even show you how to downgrade it if you have those regrets. Crack that like button if it helps you, and subscribe if you're new to help me keep making this content. Put your rocket for the stone. Mm. The first thing you should do is back up. I mean, you're already doing this anyway, right? Well, if not, you'll need to back up your OBS profiles and scene collections. To do this, head to the Windows search bar and type in percent %update percent, then hit enter. This will open a folder and down the list you should see OBS-Studio. Open this up. This is literally all your OBS settings in, which is really useful to remember as most people seem to think all their settings are saved into their OBS Studio installation directory. This is only true if you are running portable mode, which we'll cover it just shortly. You could copy and paste the whole OBS Studio folder if you want to do a full backup of all your settings, or if you are just wanting your scene collections and profiles, you can find them in the basic folder. You can again copy these and paste them somewhere else. If you are running portable mode, all of your settings are saved in the location of your OBS portable mode instance. Head to wherever you've got that instance, you will then see a config folder. Inside of that, you will see OBS-Studio. This is the same folder I just showed you in the app data folder. So you can just copy this one or just grab the scene collections and profiles. Obviously, when it comes to putting your backup back into OBS, just do these steps but in reverse. Just copy and paste your backup into those folders. One last thing on backing up. Did you know Exceldro has a plugin that will make backing up your scene collections an absolute breeze? I have a video covering this, so I'll leave that up here and in the description too. Trust me, it is a lifesaver. Now, for you duckies that just want that extra peace of mind about upgrading, you can actually try it before you do a full upgrade. To do this, simply head to the OBS website, press download in the top right, select your operating system, then press download zip. Save this somewhere on your PC. Once downloaded, extract all of the files. Open the file that you extracted and right click. Press new, then create a new text document. Call this document portable underscore mode. Make sure it is formatted exactly like that, all lowercase with the underscore. Next, to make your life a bit easier, go to the bin folder, 64-bit, then right-click the OBS64 application file and create a new shortcut. Copy this shortcut to that root OBS29 folder. Now you can open it up. It will look like a brand new fresh install of OBS. Close it back down for now. You'll notice there is now a config file in this folder. You can copy that backup you made earlier of your scene collections and profiles in there. Now when you open the shortcut in the root folder again, all of your scenes and everything will be there for you to test it out without affecting your main install of OBS. Oh, has this uh, video been helping you out? Then please consider pressing that subscribe button and that like button as it'll go a long way to supporting me, all right? Bye. Moving on. Once happy, you can then update your main OBS application from OBS 28. Wait, you were on OBS 28, right? Well, if you weren't, let me know what OBS version you are using in the comments below. Don't worry though, as you can upgrade from any version. Just open up your main OBS, go to the help on the top menu bar and press check for updates. It should then bring up a window about OBS 29. If it doesn't show up, it might be because they are still phasing it in. So you can just skip to the next step in this video. This window that has appeared will have all the patch notes on it. 
Once happy, you can click update now. This will close down OBS and run the installer. Just wait for it to complete, then press launch OBS. There you go, you have successfully updated to OBS 29. If your OBS didn't say OBS 29 was available to update to, then you just need to head to the OBS website. You will notice that OBS 29 is not available for Linux users right now. You guys definitely need to keep checking back if that regards you. Now to manually update, just press the operating system you are using on the home page or press download in the top right and again choose your operating system and press download installer. Once downloaded, run the installer Make sure it is installing OBS into the correct location, usually in your C drive, then program files. I can't run through this step as I am using OBS to record this video. When it's complete, you can open OBS and it will be updated to OBS 29. Now, this is for you little duckies that aren't getting on well with OBS 29 you will be pleased to know that you can actually downgrade OBS. To do this, obviously do the backup stage in this video again. You know, better safe than sorry, right? Head to the OBS website. In the top right, press the little GitHub button. Then on the right, you will see a little releases tab. Crack that. Now you will see every version of OBS that has ever existed. Scroll down until you find the one you want. I'll pick OBS 28.1.2, press the assets drop down tab and click your platform and version, whether or not you want the zip or installer too. I'll be downgrading my portable version of OBS, so I will be choosing the zip file. The cool thing about downgrading OBS is that you aren't really limited to what you can downgrade it to. You could raz all the way back to OBS 25 or earlier if you really wanted. Now that's downloaded, I will open the zip file and copy the contents, go to where my portable version of OBS 29 is located, then paste it into there. Press replace when prompted to, then you can open OBS and you will see it is downgraded and even tells me there's an update. Again, if you are just using the traditional installer, just run through the steps, make sure it's installed into the correct location and that will downgrade you too. If this tutorial has helped you, or even just given you a little bit of peace of mind, then please smash that like button to support me on making this content for you, and even send it to a streamer friend so we can help support each other. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't, as I'm always full of these awesome tips, just like the awesome tips that are in these videos here. I'll see you over there. Put your rock over the stone.